Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. We're here in Byzantium, and we're going to help Ellie out with her <laughs> worst parents of the world. I mean, oh my gosh, they're terrible people. So this is the mission we're going to do. It's right here, Low Crusade. Ellie wants you to take her to visit her parents in Byzantium, which we have, and regretfully, regretfully we did, because boy, they're awful. Uh, so now we have to find the insurance agency office, because she's going to get revenge. If anyone's going to make money off of Ellie's alleged death, Ellie figures should be her. Amen. So we're going to go do that. So where is it? It's over here, 220 meters or so. He looks like he needs business. So let's get down to this. This is a big friggin' place, man. I mean, this really is. What's up down here? I want that. <laughs> oh, can I get down this way? Can I go through here? How do you guys get through there? Oh wait, is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, more stuff. I won't move. There and there. Cool, there's stuff here. There's a ladder. Aha. I mean, you get stuff. Nice. Is this stuff just laying here? It's begging me to pick it up. I would be remiss in not picking it up. Oh, man, they're just like throwing their money around. This place is too fancy. Oh, <laughs> scared me. It's like, who the hell is that? Oh, it's a <laughs> Nelly. <laughs> really freaked me out for a second, Nelly. I hope this fits. I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to climb. I've already decided to stand right by the friggin' ladder. Oh, there's stuff over there. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. Well, you know what? Maybe it is something. I'll run through this junky water. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. You gotta teach me that. There's another one over here, isn't there? No? I thought there was. Okay, so let's get up here. Maybe this will get me out of here. Oh, it's here. we're down here with it. Cool. Do, 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 do. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Wait. What's up? Magpigs. Man, there's all sorts of stuff around here. I don't want to go there. I gotta find my way to this place. Oh, there's nothing here. So, it's over here. The insurance office. What's that? Chancery's pasta? The dissidents actually took over the refinery. I can't believe it! <laughs> and then, the Love chairman shot their hat. space shuttle down with a Hammersmith grenade launcher. Incredible! <laughs> Are you two talking about the new dissident hunter? Okay, I'm done listening to these. They sound very annoying. Alright. There we go. I think we found it. Yeah, we did. The sole letter in the mailbox is addressed to the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group's satellite office in Fallbrook on the planet Monarch. I guess we're going to Fallbrook. I guess so. But while we're here. We are going to help out for Vardy. So, she wants us to, uh, wants to surprise Junlei with a perfect date, and she needs your help to see it through. Uh, we need to find some fancy clothes. Parvati's feeling self-conscious about her attire. Help her find something with a little more flair at Celeste Jolie's haberdashery in Byzantium. <laughs> so we're going to do that. You should just be you. Be happy to be you. I like the way you are. Shouldn't go out and try to impress somebody. They should like you for who you are. I'm telling you, I don't like that. So it's up there, huh? Okay. Oh, this is the way we go. Okay. Bee juice. This way. All right. 
Now some inebriation. <laughs> I've always loved that sculpture. sculpture. It's an artery. And you say that every time. <laughs> it's strange. I thought the dentin was the center of health. Alright, whatever. Okay, so this is it. Wow. Oh, fancy. You with the hips. Over here. Let me take a closer look at you. Talk to her. She was busy talking, and then you interrupted her, man. Not cool. Not cool. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't speak. Hold that posture huh? for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. Yeah. The way I know. you rest your weight against your hip I suggests know. I'm a amazing. certain rugged charisma possessed only by you the hear that girl's rugged charisma. And a well-traveled spacer. That's right. Splendid. I love it. You should. I'm amazing. I've been telling them that for like ever. Don't seem to believe me. Alright, you can tell all that by the way I'm standing. That's me, rugged and well-traveled. <laughs> there it is, the most pretentious thing I'll hear now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's me. Rugged and well-traveled. Uh, Celeste, you've done it again. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you that I'd found my muse. <laughs> I'm a muse. I'm Celeste Jolicoeur. And you, my dear? are exactly what Byzantium needs. Am I now? Well, well, all right. It's like you read my mind. Yeah, what Byzantium needs is to be taken apart now. Darling, you and that brutish swagger of yours have been on my mind the moment you stepped into my studio. A whole, what, five I'm seconds? I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? Yeah, oh, I would love to make history. Sounds like fun. Count me in. You got a pretty high opinion of someone you just met. What do you have in mind? I think I'm like, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's do Marvelous. this. Marvelous! You and I are going to wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face. Okay. What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed madmen of Monarch dress themselves? Uh -huh. I've heard rumors, but I require samples. Also, I expect you to model for me. <laughs> oh, really? What's the benefit of seeing me wear it? Any excuse to admire my looks, huh? Can't blame you. I like that. Oh, you can. I you know. I'll talk of Byzantium once I'm done with you. I'll need you to model for me the following. The apparel of an iconoclast, the armor of a marauder, and a full ensemble of spacer gear. Helmet included. And when I say spacer gear, I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacers choice pedals. No tall shoes, though. I mean it. You <laughs> have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. You're going to absolutely murder this job. I might have to do some murder to get this stuff. Hold on, I need to know more about these outfits. I expect you'll cut an exquisite figure. What else do you need to know? Where the hell am I going to get this stuff? You said something about an iconoclast outfit. I've heard rumors of these iconoclasts, half mad zealots rampaging across the surface of Monarch. Okay. You'll cool. have to find your own way into Monarch. I not can't a help you. Even if I could, I prefer not to interfere with your creative process. Yes. <laughs> I do not want anybody interfering with my creative process either. It would ruin the moment. Let's see what I can do. What's so interesting about the Marauder armor? I don't know. I've never seen a Marauder. Not in person, anyway. There are always Aetherwade programs, but I want something authentic. Byzantium is long overdue for a change of wardrobe, my dear. Something barbaric, yet elegant. Like me. Alright, where am I supposed to find spacer gear? If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe, oh. I'd probably head to the Groundbreaker. Okay, good, good. So Monarch and Groundbreaker, groundbreaker but the Marauder one I gotta figure out. Fabulous! I can't wait to see what you dredge up. I know. I'm going to be amazing looking. All right. Uh, where am I supposed to find this? Yeah, where am I supposed to find spacer gear? If I were an enterprising oh. spacer. Okay. I asked that already. Uh, yeah, my engineer is going to, on a date, and she needs a fine outfit. You don't got to be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Why Let not? me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word. Such muscular shoulders. I know, man. You're She's hot. A vision, dear. 
Why do you think I keep I her around? No such thing, ma'am. Nonsense. You're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing and copyright. There. Persuade. She's an engineer. You think you can afford that? She needs to impress her true love. I'm not doing that, obviously. Hold up. Did you actually measure her for this outfit? I didn't see any measure tape. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Love? That's the ultimate luxury, darling. Love. <laughs> oh, gracious me. I don't get why that's funny, ma'am. Oh, my cherub. Who woos for love anymore? That's so... precious. All right, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. Yeah, we could do that. I guess we could swing through thousand bits. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. What the heck does that mean? It's dark. Now it's not dark. And there we oh. are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Huh. There was something else I wanted to ask. Might as well. For you? Anything. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Have you ever been outside Byzantium? Outside Byzantium? Of yeah, course not. There's Why nothing not? for me outside Byzantium. Okay. Yet you're sending me all over Halcyon. You said I was exactly what Byzantium... Yeah. Yes, and I'm terribly grateful you've agreed. Look, darling, I don't belong outside Byzantium any more than a fish belongs on the land. Anyway, I'm quite certain Byzantium wouldn't last three days without me. I'd return Is to that a important? smoking ruin of hideous fabrics and mismatched colors. I didn't know you were <laughs> that important. You said that was exactly what Byzantium means. What do you what do you mean? Byzantium has lost its élan vital. I don't Everything know what that about means. this city is so dreadfully stale. I want okay. to make people uncomfortable the way you do. I, You're really? an outsider. You clearly don't belong in Byzantium, and yet you strut about, doing as you please. Yeah, because I'm awesome. Never heard a tailor who wants to make people uncomfortable. <laughs> I think you have the wrong idea, but no, no, I, I, she has the right idea about me. Never heard a tailor who wants to make people uncomfortable. I'm not some common button monger, darling. Jeff definitely I'm noticed an that. Artist. It's my job to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. I see. Thanks. You're very welcome. Uh, there's something else I want to ask you. For you? Anything. anything. I think I asked everything, but I'm not sure. Mm, yeah, okay. Forget it. All right. Uh, who's that? Oh, they're guards. <laughs> For a second, I felt like, who, <laughs> who came along with me? <laughs> okay. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so I really want. I love Byzantium. Where else are you going to find art, culture? So let's head back to my ship. All right, where's my ship? I think it's right there. That's the loading pad. There it is. Let's head back to my ship. Yes! Back. We are going to hit. We're doing her. Yeah, so we got to the... We gotta go to the ground here anyways. So we knocked two stones. Wait. Two stones? That, that's not the way the saying goes. Kill two... Kill, kill a bird. Kill two birds with one stone. I think that's it. Oh, wait. I need to go talk to her. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps why ordering we, these? Why do we have cows? What? When did they come here? All right, who brought cows on board? Seriously. Pavardi, that better not have been you. Oh, 
can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can... I just have to actually do it now. That's the point. Y you know, what? There's, there's a part Junlei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. How much more do we need to they get for this woman? them on big colony ships, like the Hope. Vardy, <laughs> making every little thing perfect won't change Junlei's feelings. <laughs> no, we're done running all over the city, right? But no, she's sweet, so... Uh, can't say no. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. That's fine. I'm grateful for all you've done. Not scary. Not scary at all. What's scary is these freaking cows. Where'd they come from? No one's gonna speak up? I wonder if the robot did it. He's new. I bet you it was. Ooh, I gotta keep an eye out on that robot. <sighs> I'm gonna come to the... I, I am going to solve this. I'm gonna get to the bottom of these freaking cows. I don't remember. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to Pavardi. I swear, next time we put in the Groundbreaker, I'm gonna do it. I'm okay. gonna ask her over. Alright. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. I think it's no. All right, so let's go to the groundbreaker. We gotta go there anyways. I swear. You know who put the cows there, Captain Marvel? You no, know, of course not. You're not gonna tell me. Go to the groundbreaker. Yes. The groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. I wonder if anybody on a groundbreaker will buy a cows. Get them off my ship. It stinks in there. All right. Behind you. Yeah, thank you, Aida. So I'll bring my favorite crew. Yeah, Pavardi and Ellie, they're my favorites. I'm keeping an eye on you, Sam. I bet you you're the one who brought those freaking cows over. Alright. Okie dokie. Uh. What? Hold on a minute. Why is it. Journal. Why do I go back up there? Why do I get on the ship? We... Uh, seriously? Oh my gosh! You guys really suck. Fine, let's get on the ship. We can talk out here, you know. All right. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Let's go see. We'll cut, and then we'll talk to her. It smells better outside. Freaking cows. Let's see what they're talking about before we talk to her already. Max. Maximilian. Oh, we've heard this before. Vicar. Vicky. Still funny. Aw, this is no fun anymore. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to her already. It's still funny. You know, she said it before. It's not funny. It's those freaking cows down there. <sighs> Irritating as heck. All right, Pavardi, where are we at? No, back this way. All right. Why well, we can't talk outside? All right. She's on her way. How do I look? Amazing as always. What's wrong with you? Yes. You look terrific. Oh. My hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. There you go. What? Why am I here? What? Did, did I sleepwalk or something? Did, whoa. What better to establish dom dominance over an alien ecosystem than by hunting its most dangerous predator and mounting its head on the wall? When did I do this? There are a lot of things going on, man, that I don't know about. Am I passing out or something? What is going on? What's this? Graham's patch. Torn from Graham's jacket. Zora sent this to you in a note. I thought a keepsake might dull the pain, but it hasn't. Graham may have been a psychopath, but he still built the foundation for the movement I'm trying to keep alive. Maybe there was another way. I don't know. I've got to let it go. Abandon all hope for... A better pass, he used to say. Well, yeah. Take it with my thanks. You ever want a beer? Stop by Stellar Bay. Z. What the heck, man? Every time I turn around, everything all sorts of. St what's this? 
Sanjar donated these after you helped them outside. Man, there's a lot of stuff popping up on my ship that I... Okay, as long as you don't pop open or something, something pops out of there. What is that? C&P Bortwurst sign. Do me proud and I shall shower you in Bortwurst and gold. Cross me and I will serve your head on a silver platter with mushroom gravy. Signed, the Borst King of Monarch himself. What the heck else is around this shit that I've been missing out on? Alright. Uh, yeah. Where, where is she? Oh, she's up there. Right, let's go check. Just sneak over. Keep it okay. Be sneaky. Keep up, Barney. I'm checking on you. Be great they were making out. <laughs> Did he tell you to come in here? Yeah, we sleeping. So I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He's probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I'd get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Ooh, it's going good. Now what? I wonder if they see my head. <laughs> Just looking over. <laughs> Just see my eyeballs. <laughs> what am I supposed to freaking do now? My father and I were often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, you think Groundbreaker pays for itself? Someone's got to cover the bills when I chafed against his deference to the board. Sounds like he was afraid of him. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. Uh, am I supposed to be here? Oh, now I'm supposed to go down. What's down there? Head to the kitchen. See how I did. Everybody wants to see. Okay. Why am I supposed to go down here? It's over there. Wait, what? Why am I going that way? Check on. So I, gu I guess I gotta go talk to them. All right, I'll head up there and talk. I don't know why that. It is there. All right, so. What about your mama? I, I don't mean to pry. You just hardly mention her, and I I've been wondering. She passed when I was small. Taught me how to change a fuse on her deathbed. Even sick, she was patient with me. She kept exhaustive journals of my childhood, my father said. Like she was A-B testing child rearing. It's fancy in here. Must be you got that exacting nature from her. Exacting is a kind way to put it. Inflexible, my father would have said. Bullheaded. Cold. Captain, no spying. <laughs> what am I supposed to freaking do? I'm not spying. I'm supposed to freaking. Alright, let's go outside and see what the heck. Why my. That's telling me to go outside. Spying. If I leave here with her, th does that mean the gate, the date's over? Hold on a minute. Don't bite this. Right. Parvati wants to surprise. I did. Head to the kitchen, see how it's right. Parvati and Julie seem to be getting along wrong. You should leave the ship and let them enjoy the date together. Oh! Got it. Thank God I read that. I was about to take her with me. So, you know what? Off, you, get, you, you enjoy. And, uh, you know what? I'll take Felix, too. These two get along pretty good. I'm, I'm staying away from Vicar Max. He's just weird now. And she's... I don't know what to make of her. Alright, I'm out here. Wait. 
Now I'm supposed to go back in? Seriously? Ugh. Promise me that you'll slap me upside the head if I ever try to play matchmaker again. Both of you, at the same time, just whack! I'm pretty sure I can go back on shit, don't I? Vardy's date is Julian's ask her how when I Oh Jesus Almighty. Freaking A. Alright. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Oh, You're not the shooting thing. Where'd the cows go now? Anticipating. You of course I'm anticipating it. Sense. What if I shoot a No, no, no. Okay, Captain, she's gone. Fine. I want all these, before you say anything, I want to be clear that I'm done <laughs> Great, I'm sure something broke while you're busy. Best now, did it go well? I'm near about vibrating. I'm so excited. So she got here, and uh -huh. the first thing she said was, uh -huh. Oh, you smell nice, like mock apples. And I was like, yeah, new soap. Heck yeah. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. Nice. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Oh, then you I let her silly. into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. Nice. So you laid out the meal, brought it June in, started the music? I know, it was there. <laughs> I figured you'd do some some place more romantic like the engine room. Uh, I'm good. So you it, we'll do that. So you laid the, out the meal, brought June in, and started the music. She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. <laughs> Where you she out? blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Nice. Made by a real live monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. I down with you, whatever. So the meal went well. The dessert too. Oh, I wasn't sure about the guy. Glad the end result didn't look yeah. So the meal went well. The dessert too? Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage and she taught me to build. Nice. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, yeah. she got a little teary. No way. Said she had a thing she needed to say. What was that? But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Oh, oh boy. That's unusually for you. And? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. What happened next? Don't leave me in suspense, right? Wait, she wrote the speech to declare her love? I understand that. Please tell them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened next? Don't leave me in suspense! Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! Woohoo! Way to go! What about your disinterest in physical affection? Yeah. We talked about it some. I told her I wasn't sure how it'd work, how I've had a bad time of it in the past. She said we'll take it as it comes. Fix things together. Share meals, talk. Maybe she could rub my shoulders when they're sore. I said I might like that. Well then. That was very sweet. Congratulations. I knew I liked her. The important thing is, no more random <laughs> That was very sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. I know. I'm Imagine amazing. Imagine if you'd never taken you me out of Edgewater. Got to remember. I'd have never met June Lay at all. Nope. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just going to head to my cabin and happy screaming to my pillow for like an hour. Right, make sure you wash it when you're done, because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of spit and spittle. And God knows what else. All right. All right, guys. Well, we'll leave off there. And we made uh, Pavardi extremely happy, which is awesome. And the cows seem to be gone. I don't know how. Maybe they heard me. And whoever did it got rid of them. Thank you. So, uh, all right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you like what you saw. Leave a like if you did. And subscribe so you can continue on watching me and my adventures here in the outer world. Bye-bye. <laughs>